Some stadiums lack of acoustic engineering actually detracts from the overall fan experience. USA Today announced its annual ranking of NFL stadiums and FedEx Field came in dead last. Regardless of how they have it, today we present to you the grades for all 32 NFL teams' loudest stadiums. Arizona Cardinals, State Farm Stadium, B-. Even though the Cardinals aren't really known for winning a lot of games, State Farm Stadium can get very loud and can even top 130 decibels. If the Cardinals happen to have a winning record that clinches a playoff spot in 2024, don't be surprised if the crowd noise impacts an opposing road team. The Cardinals really need more Pro Bowl-like talent for Kyler Murray to work with if they want to generate some of that exciting and energetic crowd noise. Atlanta Falcons, Mercedes-Benz Stadium, C. Mercedes-Benz Stadium is a very nicely appointed stadium, but you know, it just isn't as loud as other stadiums with the average decibel of only 91. The Falcons haven't had a winning record since 2017 and haven't been the same since their Super Bowl 51 collapse. If the Falcons turn their losing ways around, well then who knows, maybe this could become a loud nest of fan excitement. Baltimore Ravens, M&T Bank Stadium, B+. M&T Bank Stadium can get very loud, especially with the Ravens in win now mode. MNT Bank Stadium averages 105 decibels in loudness, according to a sports brief. Probably thanks to, in large part, how talented Lamar Jackson and that Ravens defense is. It also helps that the Ravens won a home playoff game in the 2023 season and hosted the AFC Championship game. You know, before losing to the Kansas City Chiefs 10 17. The Ravens have a strong winning team around them that'll make MNT Bank Stadium a noisemaker for seasons to come. Buffalo Bills, Highmark Stadium, B. With the Bills being a perennial playoff contender, it is no surprise that Highmark Stadium can be a tough place to play. During a showdown with the Miami Dolphins in Week 4, Highmark Stadium ended up clocking in at 103 decibels as the Bills defeated the Dolphins 48-20. Bills head coach Sean McDermott admitted that they had to use hand signals to communicate with linebacker Terrell Bernard during that same Dolphins-Bills game. Also back in 2022, Steelers running back Najee Harris remarked that Highmark Stadium is probably the loudest stadium that he's ever played in. Carolina Panthers, Bank of America Stadium, D+. Panthers fans may not have had much to cheer about, but hey, Bank of America Stadium does get loud when a large opposing fan base takes over. Bank of America Stadium averages around 89 decibels according to Soundprint. This stadium can get loud, as witnessed when the Panthers were playoff contenders during the Cam Newton years, but with the team in free fall decline, the loudest bank will get is from opposing fan bases who take over the stadium during road games. Chicago Bears, Soldier Field, C+. The Bears are a very hit or miss team, but when it comes to having a loud stadium, they exceed with a passionate fan base through thick or thin. Soldier Field averages about 88 decibels according to Soundprint. Soldier Field can resonate with passionate fans, so if you're an opposing NFL player, be ready to be drowned out with the noise of the Bears fans. Cincinnati Bengals, Paycor Stadium, B. The Bengals were a hit or miss team in the 2023 season, but the Bengals fans know how to be loud and ready for opposing opponents. During the 2022-2023 NFL playoffs, Paycor Stadium averaged a 180 18 decibels after Sam Hubbard's 98-yard fumble recovery for a touchdown, according to The Athletic. Bengals head coach Zach Taylor said in an interview with local news that the team used the crowd noise to their advantage. When Joe Burrow returns to full strength for the 2024 season, be prepared for a very loud Bengals fan base during their first home game at a Paycor Stadium. Cleveland Browns, Cleveland Browns Stadium. B. The Browns have been the NFL's laughing stock since they were reactivated in 1999. However, the team has been on the upside since 2020, with two playoff appearances in 2020 and 2023 respectively. But let me tell you, the Cleveland Browns stadium can be a loud place to play, thanks in large part to the Dog Pound fan base being strong and faithful. Those Browns fans showed up and stood proud when the team clinched a wild card spot for the playoffs in Week 17 against the New York Jets. If the Browns do become a perennial playoff contender, hey, do not be surprised if Cleveland Browns Stadium gets louder and louder. Those fans ain't got no chill. Dallas Cowboys, AT&T Stadium, B. The Cowboys play in one of football's loudest stadiums. AT&T Stadium, nicknamed Jerry's World, averages about 87 decibels according to Soundprint. The Cowboys, of course, have one of the largest fan bases in all of North American professional sports, as well as a team that can compete for the NFC East year after year. So, AT&T Stadium can be a very daunting place to play. Denver Broncos, Empower Field at Mile High Stadium. 
B-. Despite the Broncos not making the playoffs since their Super Bowl 50 run, Empower Field at Mile High Stadium is thunderous and can be a very tough place to play for opposing NFL teams. The stadium itself averages around 95 decibels according to Soundprint. And although the Broncos aren't a playoff team at the moment, they did have a good five-game winning streak where they won four home games. The Broncos do improve and maybe return to playoff contention. Watch out, this could easily become one of the loudest stadiums in the nation. Detroit Lions, Ford Field, a minus. Ford Field has been a rousing and loud place to play with a lot of passionate Lions fans cheering their team on. With the Lions becoming a playoff team under Dan Campbell, Ford Field has only gotten louder. During the Lions playoff game against the Los Angeles Rams, Ford Field clocked in at 133.5 decibels. The Lions fans literally made the air quake as the Lions won a very close 24-23 battle against the Los Angeles Rams. So long as the Lions continue winning, this field is only gonna get louder. Green Bay Packers, Lambeau Field, A. Historically, Lambeau Field is known as one of the most iconic football stadiums. Lambeau is also known as one of the loudest stadiums in the NFL, thanks to the Packers faithful. Lambeau Field averaged around 123 decibels according to Sports Brief. With Jordan Love leading the Packers to a surprise playoff run in 2023-2024, don't be surprised if Lambeau Field only gets louder in 2024 as the Packers just continue to improve. Houston Texans, NRG Stadium, B+. NRG Stadium has become another one of the NFL's loudest stadiums to play in despite being the youngest team in the league, all thanks to CJ Stroud and coach D'Amico Ryans. NRG Stadium averages around 94 decibels according to Soundprint, and despite a lot of lackluster seasons in Houston over the years, this Texans team under Ryan's wing is poised for success, and as of right now, has a very loud and passionate fan base. Indianapolis Colts, Lucas Oil Stadium, B+. It may not be the RCA Dome, but Lucas Oil Stadium truly brings out a raucous crowd as one of the loudest NFL stadiums in the league. Lucas Oil Stadium averages 86 decibels according to Soundprint. With the Colts now turning the page with Anthony Richardson as their starting quarterback, Colts home games are only gonna get louder. Jacksonville Jaguars, Everbank Stadium, C-. The Jacksonville Jaguars have been a bit of a mixed bag over the years. The stadium is well appointed and heck, it even boasts having a pool, so it can be a great fan experience for many. Now, there's no record of how many decibels Everbank Field actually is breached, but Jaguars head coach Doug Peterson said that crowd noise did play a role in not being able to relay defensive play calls to his team during their 31-34 overtime loss to the Cincinnati Bengals. Either way, Everbank Field is a great stadium to visit, whether you're a Jaguars fan or just a fan of an opposing team. Kansas City Chiefs, Arrowhead Stadium, A+. Oh man, where to begin? Arrowhead Stadium is arguably the loudest stadium in the NFL. It averaged a record loudness count of 142.2 decibels during a 2014 game. Ever since the Patrick Mahomes dynasty, Arrowhead Stadium continues to be one of the toughest, loudest stadiums for opposing NFL teams to play in. Las Vegas Raiders, Allegiant Stadium, B. Though Allegiant Stadium is considered very new, it can be a very loud place to play thanks to the rowdiness of the Raiders fan base, whether it's a win or a loss. Allegiant Stadium averaged 92 decibels according to Soundprint, and with the Raiders looking to build upon the success that they had after getting rid of Josh McDaniels and replacing him with an Antonio Pierce, well, this team should be heading in the right direction. As the excitement for the Raiders continues to climb up in the desert, so will the decibels at the game. Los Angeles Chargers and Los Angeles Rams, SoFi Stadium, C+. Although one of the newest stadiums in the NFL, SoFi Stadium looked incredible for both the Rams and Chargers. However, a lot of the crowd that does show up to SoFi are away fans. Case in point, week 2 of the 2023 regular season when the San Francisco 49ers took over SoFi Stadium with a sea of red over the LA Rams blue and yellow. SoFi Stadium averaged 99 decibels according to Soundprint. The Rams are on pace to be a playoff contender, while the Chargers recently hired Jim Harbaugh, who could potentially restore some of the electricity to the Chargers fan base. So we'll see how loud SoFi gets in 2024. Miami Dolphins, Hard Rock Stadium, C. Hard Rock Stadium is a great stadium located in South Florida. It can crow as they have hosted six Super Bowls, and you don't need a Super Bowl to chalk up the loudness meter. The stadium can certainly get loud during Dolphins games and Miami Hurricanes games. And with the Dolphins becoming more of a playoff contender and playing pretty well at home, Hard Rock Stadium can only get louder. Minnesota Vikings, U.S. Bank Stadium, A-. U.S. Bank Stadium is not only an amazing, pretty young stadium, but it's also one of the loudest stadiums in the NFL. 
During the 2018 Minneapolis Miracle, US Bank Stadium reached up to 120.1 decibels, which is louder than a jackhammer, but just a tad bit quieter than a jet engine. The Skull Chant is a great and loud tradition by the Vikings fans, helping to give the Vikings on the field an extra bit of motivation before kickoff. New England Patriots, Gillette Stadium, B-. Even though the Patriots are no longer the dynasty that they once were, Gillette Stadium still goes down as one of the loudest stadiums to play in. If the Patriots turn things around in 2024, well, expect Gillette Stadium to return to an extremely loud and hostile territory for opposing fans. New Orleans Saints, Caesar Superdome, B+. One of the most iconic and historic dome stadiums in the league, Caesar Superdome is a very loud and raucous place to play as an opposing team. Even during the 2018-2019 NFC Championship game against the Los Angeles Rams, the crowd noise was so loud that the press box started to shake. And keep in mind, this was in spite the Saints not even being a playoff contender. New York Giants and New York Jets, MetLife Stadium, B. MetLife Stadium is the home to both the New York Giants and the New York Jets, and that can be a bit of a wild time, whether it's a win or a loss. MetLife Stadium has averaged 95 decibels according to Soundprint. During the 2022 season, Giants head coach Brian Dable welcomed the loudness of Giants fans as the team returned to the playoffs for the first time since 2016. Now, the Jets fans do get loud, but it's sadly a losing effort as opposing teams found ways to defeat them even with the rowdiness of Jets fans throughout out those games. Philadelphia Eagles, Lincoln Financial Field, B+. Lincoln Financial Field has been home of the Philadelphia Eagles ever since 2003. And let me tell you, it has one of the loudest and rowdiest fan bases in all the NFL. Lincoln Financial Field averaged 96 decibels according to Soundprint. And on top of that, Lincoln Financial Field is a very brutal place to play as an opposing team, as they are always being heckled by the Eagles faithful. Pittsburgh Steelers, Akershur Stadium, B+. With the Steelers being one of the NFL's most historic franchises, Akershur Stadium is regarded as one of the loudest stadiums in the league. Akershur Stadium has averaged 90 decibels according to Sports Brief. The Steelers fans and their terrible towels always make Akershur Stadium a vicious play to play football for the opposing teams. San Francisco 49ers, Levi Stadium, C. Even though the 49ers are a strong team that reached the playoffs four times in the last five years, Levi Stadium isn't exactly the loudest place in the league. Levi Stadium averaged only 77 decibels according to Soundprint, and although fans have complained about the lack of fan noise at Levi Stadium, it's still one of the greatest places to watch and play football. Seattle Seahawks, Lumens Field, A+. Lumens Field is truly one of the loudest stadiums in all the NFL. I mean, heck, it competes neck and neck at their head stadium for which one is louder. The 12th man fan base truly makes Lumens Field loud and hard for opposing teams to play and call plays in. The loudest that Lumens Field recorded was in 2013 when it had a 137.6 decibels, which uh, is the equivalent of a jet taking off. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Raymond James Stadium, C+. Raymond James Stadium isn't the loudest stadium on this list, but it does have a lot of memory memorable amenities, including a pirate ship. As far as loudness, Raymond James averaged around 88 decibels according to Soundprint. The stadium experienced a rise in loudness when Tom Brady joined the Buccaneers in 2020, even though there was very little to no crowds at NFL stadiums during the COVID pandemic. Tennessee Titans, Nissan Stadium, C+. Even though the Titans had a rough 2023 season, Nissan Stadium did get pretty loud. It averaged 81 decibels according to Soundprint. Although Nissan Stadium isn't up there with the other ones like Lumens Field and Arrowhead, the nightlife in Nashville kind of makes up for it. I mean, heck, that's not just for Titans fans, but for all visiting fans and tourists alike. However, the Titans are building a new stadium for the 2027 season, which will feature more amenities and upgrades that the current stadium has lacked for many, many years. Washington Commanders, FedEx Field, D. FedEx Field averages 70 to 80 decibels, according to The Athletic. FedEx Field also ranks at the bottom of the stadium rankings with a lot of problems with the railing, sewage leaks, bad game day experience, etc, etc. The new ownership does plan to upgrade the stadium, but eventually the commanders will just need a new one. But what stadium do you think is the loudest in the NFL? Let us know in the comments section below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. But hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS, though, then subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.